In the vast depths of the ocean, where mysteries lie dormant, a chilling tale unfolds. The hopes of five intrepid Titanic tourists, their identities a college of wealth and ambition, now wane as they vanish amidst the enigmatic wreck. Their vessel, the submersible Titan, plunged into silence, leaving us with a haunting question. What transpired in those unfathomable depths? Perhaps this is a riddle destined to confound, forever concealing the truth. With each passing moment, the possibility grows that we may never unravel the secrets that bind the British billionaire, the Pakistani magnate, the Fox French explorer, and the CEO who orchestrated this ill-fated descent. Here are five things that went wrong on the dive to Titanic with OceanGate's Titan. Five experts on submarines believe that five accidents could have happened to the mini-submarine. Number 1. One possible explanation is that the submersible got tangled in the wreckage of the Titanic. The ship broke into two pieces when it sank a long time ago, and those pieces are now surrounded by a lot of debris on the ocean floor. People who have dived there say it's very dangerous to navigate through the wreck. It's possible that the pilot of the sub got confused, especially if they lost contact with others, and the sub got stuck. The sub has weights that can be dropped to help it float, but if it's stuck inside the Titanic, the crew might have to wait for help. Rescuers have heard a banging sound on sonar, which could be the trapped crew trying to get attention, but they still haven't found the sub. Number 2. Another possibility is that the submersible, Titan, experienced a power failure or equipment breakdown. It relies on batteries for communication, engine operation, lighting, and heating. If a catastrophic failure occurred, the sub would be immobile, engulfed in darkness, and subjected to freezing temperatures. Experts warn that the cold could be more lethal than the lack of oxygen. Concerns have been raised about the sub's quality, with reports of shortcuts in its construction, including the use of scaffolding poles and a video game controller. Without power, locating and resurfacing the sub becomes more challenging, limiting rescue options. Number 3. It's also possible that the submersible became entangled in a fishing net or other debris. These ghost nets are lost by fishermen and drift into the deep ocean. A similar incident happened in 2005 when a Russian submersible got caught in a net and sank off the coast of far eastern Siberia. With the help of an underwater drone, the crew was eventually rescued, but they were in much shallower waters compared to the Titan's location. Finding and distinguishing the sub from the scattered wreckage of the Titanic is a challenge for rescuers using sonar. Even if they managed to cut it free, the Titan would still need to ascend to the surface on its own because it's impossible to transfer the crew to another vessel at that depth. Number 4. The submersible suddenly stopped communicating without any explanation, and experts believe it may have imploded deep underwater. G. Michael Harris, an experienced explorer who has studied the Titanic, is concerned that the extreme pressure at the depth of 10,000 feet, which is 350 times greater than at the surface, could have crushed the vessel. Even a small problem with the carbon fiber and titanium hull could have caused the accident. The submersible called Titan had previous voyages canceled due to worries about the hull strength. Although the owner said it had been repaired and had a system to monitor the hull, it's unlikely the crew could have saved themselves if an issue occurred suddenly. A similar incident happened in 2017 when the Argentine Navy's AR a San Juan submarine went missing and was found a year later on the seabed, likely due to an electrical failure that caused it to go too deep and implode, killing everyone on board. Number 5. Another possible explanation is a fire on board the submersible potentially caused by water entering the electrical systems. In 2019, a fire occurred in the battery compartment of the Russian submarine Losherik while it was underwater at a depth of 1,000 feet. The crew bravely fought the fire in narrow corridors and managed to bring Losherik back to the surface with the help of its parent submarine. Unfortunately, 14 experienced and highly decorated submariners lost their lives. If a similar fire were to happen on the Titan, it could have deadly consequences. Even if the crew could somehow control the flames, the fire could damage the electronics and deplete the limited oxygen inside the small 21-foot vessel. After searching for a week, it was confirmed that the submersible had imploded underwater. 
The implosion of the submersible during its dive was likely caused by the failure of its pressure housing due to any tiny weakness, crack, or fissure to the submersible's hull at the enormous water pressure below the surface. The crew may have been trapped underwater within the hull of their broken-down submersible, running out of air, or they may have suffered a sudden, catastrophic hull breach, causing their sub to rapidly buckle under the crushing pressure of the water above them. The U.S. Navy detected a distinct sound matching an implosion on the day the submersible went missing. Search teams discovered fragments of the submersible, providing sad confirmation of the passenger's fate. Implosions underwater happen when a vessel collapses inward due to extreme pressure at great depths. The exact location and depth of the implosion are uncertain, but the Titanic wreckage rests about 4,000 meters below the surface. The pressure at that depth is about 5,600 pounds per square inch, much higher than on the surface. Diving expert Rick Murkar explains that catastrophic implosions occur incredibly quickly, in just a fraction of a millisecond. Experts believe it is highly unlikely to recover any bodies from such depths. The U.S. Coast Guard remains committed to continuing the search, despite the challenging conditions and harsh environment on the ocean floor. Thanks for joining us on this thrilling adventure, fellow explorers. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of our planet, both above and below the surface.